In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate counter output waveforms for a 4-bit counter using the USB with two E's uh, test equipment that we have in our lab. And we're going to specifically use the USB ZX signal generator software to do this. Uh, you can see this window here. First thing I'm going to do is make sure I select usually a low um, megabits per samples per second rate because I don't really need to generate fast signals and then I'm gonna select my waveforms uh, familiar with counters you will know that uh, four bit counters can have four output waveforms the least significant bit is going to be the fastest of all the waveforms and to select my first waveform I'm gonna make sure I have the select waveform cursor I'm gonna come over here to the left margin of the output zero which is the least significant bit signal and I'm just going to left click. Then I'm going to click the generate clock signal button and I'm going to set this for a frequency of a thousand Hertz and click create clock. Close that window. It doesn't look like much but if I zoom in on this and push over to the left so we can see the beginning of the signal we can see that that 1000 Hertz signal is created. Now I'm going to go on and create my next signal. Once again, click over in the left margin, this time for output 1, which is the next most significant bit. Click the Create Clock. And for counter output waveforms, the frequency is divided by 2, so I'm going to have 500 hertz signal this time, and create that clock. Close that waveform, do the same thing for output 2, except this time half the frequency of the previous. And finally, for my last bit, which is the most significant bit of my counter, and that's half the frequency of the previous signal, which is 125. And I created this clock signal. I'm going to close this and take a look at what I've done. If you're familiar with the counter, you can see this section, 0, 0, 0, 0, binary 0, this section, 0, 0, 0, 1, which is a binary 1, 2, three, four, and so on until I get to 15 and then the count will start over again. Real quick way to create counter waveforms which are very handy to use for signal generation and application to a bunch of different circuits.